So Nicholas begins reporting Princess Beatrix's issue of elected American boyfriend speaking, and Princess Beatrix's issue of elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. My wish was granted as well. I extend extraordinary invitation to the First Lady of the United States to visit Victorian Village, and of course, in fact, Sidney Thomas is part of the Victorian Village District. And of course, the First Lady of the United States visited St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So my wish was granted as well in conjunction with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Nicholas Fleece reported. Seen in Icon of Memphis. And of course, Nicholas Pegues, inspire my generation to public service. So Nicholas Pegues reporting Princess Beatrix is your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking and a corporate appreciation to FLOTUS, the First Lady of the United States for visiting Victorian Village Historic District. In fact, Danny Thomas is a part of that district and her um she honored my request as well. Nicholas Pegues reporting. Let's see a little history about Victorian Village College Chapel Historic District and St. Mary's Church. Nicholas Pegues reporting. Now this is published from in August of 2010 regarding news from Victorian Village, Inc. Nicholas Pegues reporting. Also known as Victorian Village to Mayor. So Nicholas Pegues is honored to announce that First Lady Michelle Obama came to the district of Victorian Village to Mayor. As proclaimed on Facebook, Nicholas Pegues. Here is the letter from the Mayor of Memphis regarding Victorian Village. In 2010, so Nicholas Pegues reporting. As you remember, Nicholas Pegues fans, I believe I was a school board candidate in 2010. So Nicholas Pegues reporting. Princess Beatrix this issue elected American boyfriend speaking. A corporate appreciation to the office of the First Lady of the United States from Rhodes, the Republican of the United States, and also known as Princess Beatrix, elected American boyfriend. So Nicholas Pegues reporting a little history about Victorian Village regarding me as Victorian Village the mayor and of course Princess Beatrix elected Memphis boyfriend. In fact, the first lady honored my request because Danny Thomas, as you can see on this blog, is a part of Victorian Village. So Nicholas Pegues reporting as you can see Danny Thomas and in fact, first lady Michelle Obama visited Danny Thomas in conjunction with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I've been trying to get the First Lady to come to Victorian Village and of course Princess Beatrix and Eugenie, but the First Lady had and made time to come to Victorian Village in conjunction with St. Jude. And she also extended me an invitation to document her. How awesome is that? Victorian Village to Mayor documents the First Lady of the United States. A corporate appreciation from me and Princess Beatrix as Princess Beatrix elected Memphis boyfriend. So Nicholas Pegues reporting on uh, Princess Beatrix elected Memphis boyfriend. My claim to fame is, of course, it was originally my idea to bring the First Lady of the United States to visit St. Jude Children's Research Hospital here in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, uh, Marlo Thomas did in fact bring the First Lady here to Memphis, Tennessee, but that idea was originally Nicholas Pegues' idea, and of course I was invited to document the First Lady when she did come here to Memphis, Tennessee 
on um, September 17th, 2014. At any rate, this is another letter, another email I have that I'm revealing to the international community regarding my contributions, my invitation to the First Lady of the United States. Of course, it was originally my idea to bring the First Lady to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. As you can see, it's dated 2013. Nicholas Pegues reporting, CNN icon of Memphis, Princess Beatrix, I love you, and this is your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. reporting seeing in our report on Memphis um, an annual thing an annual event I have come here to volunteer here at Southwind I love Southwind I love St. Jude in fact I tried to um, get members of the White House to come to Mrs. Grizzly's house so Jack Simons Fred Smith's brother someone who I truly admire who are, are a crown jewel families a crown jewel to Memphis and Shelby County is going to wish me a happy 27th just birthday. want to wish you a happy 27th birthday thanks for coming out to the FedEx St. Jude Classic thank you Mr. Simons seeing in our report loves you guys Nicholas Pegues reporting. Also known. So Nicholas Pegues reporting. Who was the first person to inspire the first lady to come to St. Jude? Well, of course, the answer is revealed. It's Nicholas Pegues, Princess Beatrix's elected Memphis boyfriend, and also known as the governor of the United States Congress 2014. This is my official invitation. I have emailed to the White House several years ago regarding her visiting Memphis Grizzlies house. I hope everyone remember this invitation that I extended in 2012 when I was running for United States Congress. Um, I said, um, you know, I wrote her this special letter about the children of St. Jude. So Nicholas Pegues gets credit for this St. Jude visit by the First Lady of the United States. And here's the reply. It says, thank you for inviting First Lady Michelle Obama to participate in your event. We receive your request and you will be contacted as soon as a decision has been made. Obviously a decision was made. Miss Obama did visit St. Jude and credit, of course, is given to me. Nicholas Pegues reporting in conjunction with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital A Corporate Appreciation. Well, Vice President um, Joe Biden promotes America healthcare industry, especially cancer research in Latin America, by sharing the great accomplishments of Memphis Grizzlies House and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Well, mainly, my primary question is: Will Vice President Joe Biden promote America's healthcare industry with Latin America? Will Vice President Joe Biden promote America's healthcare industry, especially cancer research, um, to Latin Americans, and, and especially how um, you know we're, we're doing great accomplishments here in the United States regarding St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital and Memphis Grizzlies House? Will the Vice President promote our healthcare industry? Shelby County Unified School Board applicant in 2011 here at the Children's Museum. May 7th, 2013, we'd like to say go Grizzlies, go! And a special thanks to the Memphis Grizzlies House. Seeing in our report of Memphis in conjunction with St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Nicholas Figgis reporting, also known as the Governor. Go Grizzlies, go! Every game you win is dedicated to the Children's Museum and Memphis Grizzlies House.
say. Put the news reporting, CNN, our reporter, and this is also known as the governor. Go. CNN, our reporter. So Princess Beatrix is your elected Memphis boyfriend here to document First Lady Michelle Obama. Nicholas Fagis reporting. Nicholas Fagis reporting. Prince Harry here in Memphis, Tennessee. And of course, Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend. Promoted on Facebook. Nicholas Fagis reporting. <laughs> Here he comes. Woo! Prince William and Memphis! Right behind him, Nicholas Reese reporting. Seen in Icon of Memphis. There he is. Nicholas Reese reporting. Princess Beatrix is in your elected American boyfriend. Dr. Nunez. It was Prince Harry. Awesome, awesome. Nicholas McGee's reporting. All right. And here we are in Memphis, Tennessee. Nicholas McGee's reporting. Documenting Prince William and Prince Harry on Nicholas McGee's. God save the Queen. And Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend. Only on Nicholas McGee's. CNN Icon of Memphis. Excuse me.